There's a specific mental model that I've seen consistent with some of the best traders that I've worked with. These are seven figure traders making a significant amount of money consistently from their trading. Every month, every month they're getting paid by the market. And that mindset that they're using is negative thinking. And there are so many people promoting this whole idea of positive psychology and positive thinking in your trading. Um, but what I have seen with the best traders out there is they're not using positive psychology. In fact, they're deliberately using negative thinking as a way to help them achieve their goals. And what I'm going to do in today's video is share with you the shortfalls and the risks of using positive thinking and positive psychology in your trading and showing you how you can implement negative thinking into your trading to start replicating the results of the best traders out there. Okay, let's get into it. Now, the first idea that we need to discuss and we need to elaborate on is the difference between what we can uh, what we can label reality or in other words, personal reality and actuality. Now, actuality is what is actually out there. OK, it's the world that we live in, in actuality and reality is our own head. It's the ideas, the beliefs that we hold in our own mind. So we can, you know, we can put our face here, our head, it's terrible drawing, I know. And we can have the world around us. Everything in your own head is reality. Everything in the world around you is actuality. Now, if you honestly look at your own life and at the markets and the lives of everybody else, and you're honest with yourself, you would have a look at your life and you would say that sometimes you are positive, sometimes you are negative, sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad, sometimes you're supportive to people and they support your values and priorities. And when people challenge your values and priorities, you can be challenging to other individuals. Sometimes you're nice, sometimes you're mean. And if we were to have a look at your life, we could say with certainty that at times you've been positive, you've been happy, you've been up, you've been supportive, you've been nice. But at times, you've also been the opposite. You've been mean, you've been distasteful, you've been negative, you've been challenging, you've been, you know, the negative side to individuals and to yourself. So in actuality, actuality is two sided. There is both positive and negative. There is both nice and mean. There is both happy and sad. There is both support and challenge. Now, if we dig a little bit deeper into this idea of two sidedness and we have a look at an individual has two sides, both those sides are necessary. You know, some people think, and we're going to talk a lot about this in today's video, that they just want the positive, they just want the nice, they just want the support and the happy. But what people don't ever do the level of thinking to understand is that the negative, the mean, the, uh, the upset and the challenging is essential. And Individuals need the negative side, the challenging side, the mean side in order to grow. And we have both positive and negative, happy and sad, nice and mean, support and challenge, win and loss in the market, because both sides are necessary for growth. For maximum growth and development, you need both the positive and negative. And this is very easy to see in your trading, that sometimes when you go through the most challenging drawdowns and the most, you know, the biggest beats in your trading is when you tend to have the biggest breakthroughs and you tend to have the motivation and drive and you now become open and teachable and you go in there and you put the work in and you get stuff down, stuff done. So from our most challenging and negative times, we tend to have the biggest growth catalysts. Whereas when things are going very, very well, we tend to become a little bit complacent. So we need both support and challenge to grow maximally. You're never going to get rid of the negative side. It's necessary, although sometimes we don't want it. It's necessary in order to continue to grow us and hold us accountable. Okay. Now in reality, in our personal reality, we can sometimes create this idea or this fantasy of one sidedness, which is positive all the time without negative, nice all the time without mean, happy all the time without sad, supportive all the time without challenging. Okay. This one sided idea. So in reality, we can create this fantasy in our mind. But in actuality, there's both, both are going to exist, the positive and negative, and we need both for maximum growth and development. Now, the more and more we hold on to this idea in our reality, this fantasy that we have positive without negative, nice without mean, 
happy with that, sad. And what's going to happen is we're going to go off and we're going to pursue this one-sided idea in our mind, in the fantasy. And we're going to think we're getting one-sided and then we're going to get smacked by the other side because the positive and negative are always there in actuality. And what tends to happen is we can see this in our trading where we think we're winning all the time and we get very, very happy and very elated by the wins. And then that inevitable loss comes around and that's very disappointing and very challenging and very disheartening because we're attached to this one-sided fantasy, okay? So as a trader and as a human being, the more you create this positive idea in your own reality and the more disconnected you are from actuality, meaning that you're holding on to this positive thinking one-sided idea and not accepting this balanced thinking idea of both positive and negative, the more stress, the more anxiety, and the more suffering and pain you're going to have in your trading because you're trying to pursue something that doesn't exist because in actuality, both positive and negative exist. But you're thinking in your mind that you can get all positive all the time, which you can't. So the more you're attached to that idea and fantasy, the more painful the negative, the inevitable losses and challenges going to be. But if you start to think and your reality changes to match actuality and you start thinking more balanced and you've got both positive and negative thinking, then you now have realistic expectations and you don't have stress, anxiety and suffering anymore because your expectation is that as a trader, you're going to have both positive wins and negative losses and you transcend outcome-based thinking and you start to think in terms of realistic expectations with the process, okay? So as a little bit of a summary here, in reality, we can create this one-sided fantasy in our mind about positive without negative, nice without mean, support without challenge, but in actuality, it doesn't exist. And in fact, in actuality, we have both sides in order to hold us accountable to grow and we need both sides to grow. The more you hold on to this one-sided idea in, in your own personal reality about positive without negative, win without loss, support without challenge, the more stress, anxiety, and suffering, suffering you're going to experience when that in inevitable other side appears. Okay, It just takes time, but it will appear. So this is part one of today's lecture. And we're going to build on top of this and elaborate on this idea and share with you why, but I, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm assuming you're probably starting to see the importance of negative thinking and the shortfalls of positive thinking in your trading. Now, let's bring this to trading specific. How many traders come into trading itself thinking that it's only going to be positive? It's only going to be supportive. You're going to make a lot of money from your trading. How many traders go for funding thinking that there's only going to be positive? It's only going to be support. How many traders go full time thinking that it's only going to be positive? There's only going to be support. It's only going to be beneficial. And uh, how many traders, you know, do these things pursuing a one-sided reality and get smacked by the other side? I've seen far too many traders who think that trading full-time is only going to be positive. They go full-time unprepared for the realities and the risks of being a full-time trader and they have to go back to their job. I've seen so many traders go for funding thinking it's going to be all positive and all supportive. And uh, then... They are unprepared for the fundings, the realities of funding, and then they lose their funding. I see so many traders that pursue trading thinking it's going to be all positive, all support, all happy, and they end up being completely miserable individuals because they've got unrealistic expectations. Just like anything, trading has both benefit and drawback. Just like anything, funding has both benefits and drawbacks, and full-time trading has benefits and drawbacks. And how many traders think their trading strategy is all positive and only has benefits to it? But just like anything, your trading strategy has both benefits and drawbacks, okay? Now, it's very important. This is what I've seen with the most experienced traders and the best traders out there is they're already aware of the drawbacks. Everybody's aware of the benefits of trading, right? It's sold to us, it's marketed to us every day. You can have financial freedom from your laptop. You can make money from anywhere in the world. But how many people make you aware of the drawbacks of trading? Nobody, because nobody wants to hear about the drawbacks of trading. But in reality, or in actuality, I should say, the success rate of trading is very, very low. Why? Because so many traders are pursuing a fantasy of trading as opposed to the, the realities of trading. And 
the benefits of funding already sold to you. You can leverage your trading very, very quickly. But how many people sell the drawbacks to you of funding? Nobody, because it doesn't sell. Okay, but the best traders, I assure you, the ones who are managing seven figures of capital, they're aware of the drawbacks and they've managed them and they've mitigated them. Full time traders, the same thing. And the traders who are very successful with the strategy, they're already aware of the drawbacks. So what I'm encouraging you to do in this video is start to make yourself aware of the drawbacks and the risks of trading. Become aware of those. Become aware of the drawbacks and risks of being a full-time trader or a funded trader. Become aware of the drawbacks and risks of being a full-time trader. Okay, why? Because they have benefits and drawbacks. If you're only aware of the benefits when you become full-time, those drawbacks are gonna surface when you're a full-time trader and you're gonna be unprepared for them, okay? I've seen many, many traders who go full-time thinking it's only gonna be beneficial, only positive, only benefit, and when they become aware of the drawbacks and the risks, then they have to go back to their full-time job, okay? When they realize that, oh shit, I no longer have a secure source of income coming in, I'm now dependent on my trading to make money, and my trading strategy hasn't provided setups this month, then I don't have any money to pay bills and all that type of stuff. So you need to be aware of all these things in advance. You need to be aware of the drawbacks and risks of your current trading strategy. And then what you need to do is once you're aware of both the benefits and drawbacks in equal degree, you see the thing for what it truly is now in actuality, not this idea you've created in your own personal reality in your mind. You can then ask yourself, all right, what are the biggest drawbacks and risks here? And how can I put a process in place to manage these drawbacks and risks? So for example, one of the drawbacks and risks of being a trader is that it has an impact on your psychology, on the stress you experience. It can impact your sleep. It can impact your relationships. Trading itself isn't necessarily a reliable source of income. It's a probabilistic model. So you're reliant on a market and you may not get paid because the market may not present opportunities to you. And there are extreme strings of drawdown in some cases, okay? And there are risks in the market financially that you have to be aware of. So you wanna write all these risks down and then you wanna ask yourself, all right, how can I manage these risks? How can I be prepared for these risks? So when you're aware of the drawbacks of trading, it doesn't deter you from trading, but it makes you aware of what those risks are and now you can plan and prepare for them. So when they do come around, you're prepared and you just act. What are the drawbacks of being a funded trader? Okay, some of the drawbacks are some of the prop firms aren't as reliable, so they may, may, may go down under night, overnight. Some of, you know, when you take on capital, you have bigger wins, yes, but you also have bigger losses, so there are greater stresses and anxieties. So you wanna write all those risks and drawdowns, drawbacks down, and you wanna prepare for them. What are the drawbacks of being a full-time trader? You don't have a reliable source of income, right? Your, 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 your financial income is dependent on a probability model. You want to write all these things down you want to prepare for them a great way to prepare for being a full-time trader is have cash savings have additional sources of income transition to part-time work as opposed to not working at all right and then what are the drawbacks and risks of your strategy you want to be aware of these some strategies don't perform very well in certain market conditions you want to be aware of that so that when those market conditions come around you can act accordingly you can lower your risk or you can trade a different strategy in that time or you can just not trade at all so the traders who are doing best out there, they're not only aware of the benefits, because that's a false reality, that's a fantasy. The best traders out there are aware of both the benefits and the drawbacks, and they've managed and mitigated the big drawbacks that can deter them from their goals and deter them from trading success. And those are the traders who sustain their success as traders. Those are the traders who sustain their funding. Those are the traders who sustain and are full-time traders. And those are traders who trade a certain strategy successfully year long and also in all seasons of the market because they're prepared for the risks and drawbacks of what's going to come and they put processes in place to manage those okay i'm encouraging each and every single one of you to use negative thinking in your trading and don't get caught up in this positive psychology trap because it will stop you from achieving your goals all right if you have any questions let me know there are a couple great links in the description the bulletproof your mindset tool as well as the trading psychology archetype quiz make sure you check those out and uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.